Hey there, knife lovers. Love Them Knives channel. This is LTK coming your way. And you know what? I really like this knife. I really do. This is the third one of these I've had. And this one's going to stay in my EDC lineup. Finally, I've got it into my blood, out of my blood, and back into my blood. This is the CRKT No Time Off. And uh, this is a great knife. I'm not usually a huge fan of the smaller blades, but I just can't get this one out of my brain. I just love the design. This is a used one. I mean, I got this from KC. He lives in Missouri, and he didn't have a box, and he'd carried it and obviously used it a little bit here and there. And so I thought, hey, cool. I mean, I, I can't remember what I traded him, but... I, you know, he had this and I go, because I was asking him, you have a, do you have a fossil or do you have no time off? And he had both. Uh, so I traded. And this is one that I just, I, I don't know. I mean, I like the chunky, thick, brute, little brute knife. And that's what this is. And I don't know whatever, uh, yeah, here you go. Icoma Design. Flavio Acoma, uh, Brazilian, uh, I, I read just a little bit, you know, hung around his dad, was into doing swords, I think something about uh, martial arts, uh, that kind of thing, but uh, this is his design for CRKT, and I think CRKT is well served with these designs. I'm really liking these. There's a lot of CRKT designs that just... You know, I mean, it, it's not that they're not a good knife or something. It's just that sometimes if they, if the design doesn't do anything for you, it's just another knife in the crowd. And this one did. When this came out, I just, I was taken by it. Uh, it's got a pocket clip here. You see how it's kind of milled out in this area? This is... I, that's not really G10. It doesn't feel like G10. It's real hard plastic type scales. You've got stainless liners in here. Don't look like they've been skeletonized right off the bat. I can't see that. Let's go down all our... Yeah, well, that's the cutout for the liner lock. And no. But, in any case, it's... Okay, so it's tip down, right hand only. No left hand option, folks. So that's uh, what that is. It's CTS BD1 steel. And you can argue about steel all you want. Uh, I really don't care. This uh, BD1 steel, uh, it, it's not like going to hold an edge for as long as like S110V or that kind of thing. But... What I've heard from people is that uh, it's very non-corrosive and it's very easy to sharpen, so you can re-sharpen and it 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 get you can get get a scary edge on it. So really, you can sharpen it up very very sharp, and it doesn't hold that for you know as as much as the super steels. But we're talking about a, a more budget-oriented knife. I mean, these things are S MSRP, yeah, 125 bucks. But you can buy one for 65 bucks. So, eh, you know, it's got IKBS bearings, and it's got this little lockout, which keeps this liner lock from disengaging. But what it is is a little lever here. You push it, and then this clears out. So this doesn't block the liner anymore from being able to disengage. So it's really strange because it's it flips pretty good. Uh, it really does. And I haven't done anything to this since I got it from KC. It's just it came this way, and I haven't sharpened it. It's reasonably decent working edge still left on it. Uh, you know, you got these little places that are, you know, milled in here for being able to grab it and, and hold it in different positions. Uh, 
very high texture on here for grip and you just grab this and you can do a one you know you just that thing's buried in there just put your thumb and move to the left all in one motion it becomes pretty easy what i do is i put my thumb here and kind of roll it backwards and to the side so it's really not a big deal it's not a a pain in the butt like some of the like some of the lock systems are that keep the liner from being able to move they can be a real pain that you have to deal with but this is really a great design so just roll it back and in great one-handed flips really well i like that so it's not going to move if you're not intentionally going to move it that liner over. But, you know, when you roll it back and to the side, then, then it gives you that option to get it closed in one motion. Jimping on the backspacer. It's obviously like a G10 backspacer. And maybe this is G10. I don't know. Uh, it feels really hard and I don't know if I've seen the exact specs on it uh you know I looked at Blade HQ I looked at Knife Center and they didn't really talk about it so it's really strange you got these uh like I said stainless liners in here got jimping on top here it looks like pretty uh aggressive where you can get down, oh, look at this, up here and up here in this choil. So you can really get up there and close if you want, which is nice for finer work. It's like a three inch blade. Well, that's what they say. Let's find out. Yeah, but it's a chunky knife and it's, and it's not light either. Three inch blade, yeah. Seven and a quarter overall. What's that? Eight and a half uh, centimeters. Yeah, about a seven and a half centimeter blade. But what do we got for blade stock? Where are we? Ooh, that's pretty good. 0 0.150, 0 0.152. Let's turn it on. <laughs> okay, let's go to millimeters. Come on, baby. Yeah, almost four. So that's that's good. Almost four, 3.76 millimeters. Ooh, can we do this? Oh, we can't do that. That's a fat handle. We're going to have to go like this. So 15.5 millimeters. See? That's a fat little brute, isn't it? 0.61 inches as far as thickness goes. So... It fits in your hand really good. Yeah, you don't really have a lot here you can do with your little finger, but you can kind of get it in there. But probably not going to hold a knife like that. You're going to hold it like this. Probably back off of this. But, you know, that's... You know, they put the little jimping up here. Put jimping again up here. So whether you grab it like that or you grab it like that, I mean, you got some options with your handhold. I don't know how you feel about tip down. I don't care about that when it comes to a working knife. Uh, and, you know, it's got a nice satin grind to it. I love this swedge up here. I like the design of the blade. And it's pretty usable. You got a lot of meat down here for working hard. Maybe not used as a pry bar, hopefully, but it's got meat there. I don't know about piercing because the blade design doesn't really lend itself much to that. But other than that, yeah. I mean, it, it probably cut a piece of paper. I don't know how much. Yeah, it'll cut. It'll cut. Yeah, it's cutting little chunks off of there. So it's still got a working good working edge on it. Uh, probably could use a little bit of touch up. But nice. I like the satin blades. I'm not that big into the black coated. I like this handle. It's fat. I mean, for such a small knife. And this one ain't a lightweight either, folks. 
let's find out just how non-lightweight it is. Woo! 5.8 for a 3-inch blade. 5.8. I mean, we're almost at 6 ounces. Wow. That's a big boy. 163 grams. So, yeah. That's a bunch. Let's take another 3.5 uh, Ganzo. Let's see what that is. Yeah, see. <laughs> and this is like a three and a half. This one, wow. See what I'm saying? The Ganzo's bigger, longer blade. Not as thick though. Blade stock, pretty close to the same. But it's amazing, I mean, one's a much longer knife than the other, but this one weighs 1.2, 1.3 ounces more than this one does. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, this is a chunk of change, folks. But you know, it's kind of fun. It depends on what you're looking for, but this is, you know, no time off. This is a working man's knife. Although, you know, what I like about it, I like it because I like the design. I really do. Well. He designed this one too, right? Icoma design. And that flips great. It's the fossil. It's crazy. He's a nutcase. And I like his kind of nuttiness. I just I just think his, his designs are really cool. And we got a new one coming out for 2017. The Carnifex. C-A-R-N-U-F-E-X, I believe. And that's out and out of stock and it'll be coming back in stock and i'm gonna get my hands on one because i like his stuff so cool i'm gonna let you go yes it's kind of a heavy knife yes it's got a lot of traction on the handles and here it's got stainless liners it's got the cts bd1 steel i love the blade design i like the overall knife design it's a little brute it's one of my favorites from CRKT, if not my favorite. I mean, it's in the top two with this one. And I don't know, I'm going back and forth, but yeah, I really like it. And you can get this with ser partial serrated. I've had the partial serrated one. I'm starting to get away from serrated a little bit because, you know, if you sharpen your knife sharp, you really kind of don't need the serrations, although... Yeah, there's a, there's a point, there's a reason for them, and yeah, they do work, and uh, I don't know, that, that's the problem with the resharpening, it makes it a little bit more of a task. So yeah, kind of going for the non-serrated these days. In any case, folks, I'll leave you alone. This is great. I really like it. Nice, thick, little brute. CRKT, no time off. But our time's up, and we love them knives.